हेलो स्टूडेंट्स गुड टाइम टू ऑल एंड चंदन कुमार प्रधान वेलकम टू यूट्यूब चैनल चंदन फिजिक्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस क्लास बी पुस्पुल एम्पलीफायर लेट्स एगेन इन द क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ एम्पलीफायर्स वी क्लासिफाई एम्पलीफायर्स ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ देयर मोड ऑफ ऑपरेशन आज क्लास ए क्लास बी एंड क्लास सी एम्पलीफायर्स हियर क्लास बी एम्पलीफायर्स आर कॉल्ड पुस्पुल एम्पलीफायर्स पुस्पुल एम्पलीफायर इज ए पावर एम्पलीफायर मीन्स इट एम्प्लीफायर्स इनपुट लो पावर इनटू आउटपुट एज हाई पावर फॉर दैट रीजन वी कॉल इट एज पावर एम्पलीफायर इन हुईज द आउटपुट पावर इज एनहांस्ड बाय कनेक्टिंग टू ट्रांजिस्टर इन पुस पुल कनेक्शन व्हाट इज पुस पुल कनेक्शन पुस पुल कनेक्शन इज दैट कनेक्शन इन हुईज the collector current in one transistor rises when the collector current in the other transistor falls that uh, indicates one transistor helps rising in that of collector current means it pushes and another transistor helpful to fall that uh, collector current means it pulled for that reason we call it as push pull connection now we have to discuss what will be the construction and working of push pull amplifier in construction we use two transistors t1 and t2 of same type means these two are identical if we use t1 as npn then t2 must be npn if t1 is pnp as a result t2 must be pnp otherwise we can't form a push pull amplifier in that of particular situation we use two n p n identical transistors named as t1 and t2 two transformers transformer 1 and transformer 2 are used and these two are center tapped and we provide input signal by using transformer 1 and that input signal to the base of the transistors t1 and t2 and the collector current are flown throughout that of circuit and finally by the use of transformer 2 we obtain the output throughout that of load let me explain what be the working process inside that of class b push pull amplifier construction working the circuit of class b push pull amplifier that we show in that of uh, figure clears that both the transformers are center tapped transformer 1 and transformer number 2 are center tapped when no signal is applied at that of input the transistors t1 and t2 are in cut off condition and hence no collector current flow as no current is drawn from that of vcc no power is wasted as transformer 1 and transformer 2 are center tapped if uh, no signal is applied 
to that of input as a result transfer transistor 1 and uh, transistor 2 are cut off and no current flows throughout that of circuit due to no current is drawn from that of VCC as a result no power is wasted this is one of the biggest advantage of push pull amplifier under class B again when input signal is given it is applied to that of input transformer TR1 which splits the signal into two signals and that signal are 180 degree out of phase with each other input signal is given throughout that of transformer one transformers are basically used to splitting purpose means to split that signal that input signal now splitted in one condition it is positive half cycle that one is negative half cycle as that signal is splitted in this condition we obtain negative half cycle and positive half cycle now the signal input signal is splitted by that of transformer 1 and this 2 are 180 degree out of phase here is a positive there is negative negative there will be positive these two signals are given to the two identical transistors T1 and T2 that given signal to that of transistor T1 and transistor T2 for the positive half cycle what happen the base of the transistor T1 becomes positive and collector current flows at the same time the transistor T2 has negative half cycle which throws the transistor T2 into cut off condition and hence no current no collector current flows as that signal to that of transistor 1 here is the positive half cycle that be the negative half cycle at a positive half cycle the base emitter junction is forward biased at that of situation in case of T2 here is the base emitter junction is reverse biased as T1 is forward biased so T1 conducts as T2 is reverse biased for that reason T2 does not conduct so the current is flown from that of circuit is the collector current and the direction of current is anti clockwise direction from positive to negative that a signal of current we obtain okay next step for the next half cycle the transistor t1 gets into cut off condition and transistor t2 gets into conduction to contribute the output hence both the cycles each transistor conducts alternately the output transformer t1 solves 
to join the two currents produced an almost undistorted output waveform okay during negative half cycle what happened during negative half cycle the t1 tra transistor t1 is reverse biased and transistor t2 is forward biased so t2 conducts and t1 does not conduct for that reason from that of t2 the collector current is flown throughout that of circuit in clockwise direction we obtain that of uh, signal these two are the amplified signal now this uh, two amplified uh, signals can be joined by using transformer 2 as transformer 1 is acted to split that signal in similar purpose transformer 2 also used to join these uh, two signals two amplified signals and these amplified signals are joined like this way here the negative as it is positive cycle positive is negative at output we obtain the amplified signal in this way that uh, are the working of class b pushpull amplifier as it is called pushpull amplifier one transistor is used to increase uh, the collector current whereas another transistor used to fall down that collector current one is used for pulling purpose another one is used to pushing purpose for that reason that uh, type of arrangement condition we call it as push pull amplifier what be the efficiency as we say it is uh, a power amplifier so the efficiency we calculate as power efficiency overall maximum efficiency which is denoted by eta overall that is power output to that of power input output power ac power input dc power the efficiency and equation number one what is uh, power output and power input dc to calculate power input in dc first we calculate what be the current and voltage so idc is equal to ic maximum divided by pi therefore power input dc is equal to 2 times of current into voltage here we use 2 as 2 number of transistors are used 2 factor is used as two number of transistors are used to 
टू इंटू आई डी सी आज आई सी मैक्सिमम डिवाइडेड बाई पाए इंटू भी सी सी एगेन वट इज पावर आउटपुट आज ए सी तो पावर आउटपुट ए सी इज इक्वल टू करेंट इंटू वोल्टेज हियर द करेंट इज द आर एम एस वैल्यू ऑफ कलेक्टर करेंट आर एम एस वैल्यू ऑफ कलेक्टर करेंट विच इज आई सी मैक्सिमम डिवाइडेड बाई रूट टू इंटू आर एम एस वैल्यू ऑफ वोल्टेज बी सी सी डिवाइडेड बाय रूट टू दैट रेजल्ट आई सी मैक्सिमम इंटू भी सी सी डिवाइडेड बाय टू ना द वैल्यू ऑफ पावर इनपुट डी सी पावर आउटपुट ए सी इज कूटेड इन इक्वेशन नंबर वन देर फॉर इक्वेशन वन बिकम्स द एफिशिएंसी इटा दैट इज द ओवरऑल एफिशिएंसी इज इक्वल टू आई सी मैक्स इंटू भी सी सी डिवाइडेड बाई टू इंटू पाए डिवाइडेड बाय टू आई सी मैक्स इंटू भी सी सी आई सी मैक्स भी सी सी कैंसल आउट इटा इज इक्वल टू पाए बाय फोर और इटा इज इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट सेवेन एट फाइव इन परसेंटेज इट विल बी सेवेंटी एट पॉइंट फाइव परसेंट सो द एफिशिएंसी ऑफ क्लास पी पुष्पुल एम्प्लीफायर इज अबाउट टू सेवेंटी एट पॉइंट फाइव परसेंट दैट इज द पावर एफिशिएंसी सो हियर विद द हेल्प ऑफ दिस वीडियो लेक्चर वी अंडरस्टैंड द कंसेप्ट ऑफ क्लास बी पुष्पुल एम्प्लीफायर व्हाट इज पुष्पुल एम्प्लीफायर वाई इट इज कॉल्ड एज पुष्पुल एम्प्लीफायर इट्स कंस्ट्रक्शन एंड वर्किंग द ओवरऑल मैक्सिमम एफिशिएंसी ऑफ क्लास बी पुष्पुल एम्प्लीफायर मैथमेटिकली इट इज सोन द एफिशिएंसी इज अराउंड सेवेंटी एट पॉइंट फाइव परसेंट सो विद दिस यूजफुल एंड इन्फॉर्मेटिव नोट्स लेट मी वाइंड ऑफ दिस सेशन थैंक यू